Hello guys, it's not you, it is me, here. We will be covering the Merchant Alliance, which will include animals, cargo runs, and rowboats. Since Merchant Voyages are separate, this guide will be split into two parts. The first video will include the animals, and part two will cover the cargo runs and the rowboats. Stay tuned. Go to the Merchant NPC, in most cases you will see two different thumbnails. One is cargo runs and the other is animals. I usually recommend starting with the animal voyages, since they require basic knowledge and are easy to complete. After stocking up, pick an animal voyage and vote for it. Merchant voyages are timed, that is the reason why I said after stocking up. Sea of Thieves has three different types of animals, chickens, pigs and snakes. But each island has no more than two, so no island will have all the animals at the same time. After you find out what is required, mark your destination on the map and then collect the crates needed from the merchant. Small hint, if you want to know which island has the required animals without searching, you can easily google Sea of Thieves animal map and you will get maps that show animal locations. It is always recommended to search the islands between your current location and the other outpost which is the delivery address. This way you will be heading in the same path while you collect all the animals instead of going all around the map back and forth. Animals have different requirements to keep in mind while you interact with them. Chickens are the easiest to deal with. You can just pick them up and take them back to the ship. Pigs and snakes appear at higher levels, so I had to log into my main character, which is a higher level, to demonstrate their mechanics. Pigs are similar to chickens, but will require you to feed them bananas to keep them alive. When you hear squealing, not a grunt, but a very annoying squeal, that will mean feed me bananas. The pig will also be in a sitting position when he is hungry. If he gets up after feeding, you have done well. Snakes, they do not require feeding, but are hostile if you get close to them. So before you pick them up, get any of your musical instruments that are in the more radial menu and play music. They will dance to your charming musical skills. Then you will have a few seconds to pick them up. Never mind that, just a random player who tried to attack my ship as I'm working on this guy. He only successfully killed my chicken, in the end it was his loss. Back to our subject. Keep an eye on the snake movement. If it sticks its head out of the crate, it means the charm effect is over, and the snake is about to be hostile again. Just drop the crate, play some music again and pick them up. If you are more than one player, one can pick up the snake and the other will play music as you carry the snake crate. The best place to put the snakes is on the front nose of the ship, or what is officially called the bowsprit, while chickens can be in the lower deck so they can be protected from any external damage like cannonballs. Pigs can be placed behind the wheels so you can hear them at all times when they squeal. Though all animals need protection from cannonballs, when you are alone, the best choice is to have the pigs behind you so you can always hear them and not leave the wheel when they need feeding. Sometimes you will get gunpowder barrel as an item to deliver also as a part of the voyage. Gunpowder barrels at all times should be stored on the crow's nest and nowhere else. In case they blow up from another enemy sniper or lightning, they will not affect you down on the ship, so it's a safe place to keep. You can find them scattered around islands, but forts will always have gunpowder barrels in large quantities. Sometimes small islands will not have any animals, as you get closer, Check with the spyglass if there are any animals present. No need for a full stop. Big islands are always guaranteed to have animals. Check your animal list on the voyage and make sure you got everything required. On top you will find the delivery address, which will be an outpost. As soon as you get there, you can sell the crates to the merchant. If you accidentally sell the animals in the rogue outpost, it will not fulfill the voyage and you will lose the crates. Though the merchant will warn you before you sell them that you are delivering to the wrong address. If you happen to lose the crates for any reason, you're gonna have to cancel the voyage and start a new one, because the merchant will not replace lost crates. On the other hand, sometimes you find random animal crates lying around islands like any other loot. Keeping these on your ship as a spare will not hurt and might help if you ever lose any crates. This was part 1 of the video. Hopefully it covers everything you need to know about animals, their types and the merchant alliance. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to stay up to date with my latest videos. Part 2 will cover cargo runs and the robot. 
Thank you.